conducting an audit. To conduct an audit, first select the application that you want to audit. As we have already selected Oracle, therefore we will be able to conduct audit on Oracle database. Click on the audit icon to start conducting audit. A new window will open which will show you all discovered Oracle machines and databases. Select the database you wish to audit or to add another database from your network. For this, just click on Add Machine button present on the top of User Login Credential window. Type in the IP address or host name, port number for Oracle. Username will be of SysDBA or equivalent level because you want to give highest access privileges to conduct the audit, and Sys has the highest level access privileges available on Oracle database. In Password field, type in the password for Sys. Provide database name in the database field. Select the Audit Profile from the drop-down menu and select the User Role from the drop-down menu and click on OK. Audit window will open which will ask for audit name. Type in the name of audit and simply click on Audit. You can audit single or multiple databases simultaneously. Here we have selected single database. Once the audit is complete, the Q Auditor will display results in a risk level grid. You will see risk level medium, low, informational, and high. Simply expand the branch, then click on each category to see its vulnerabilities. Vulnerability specifications are also provided by Secure Auditor to provide proof of their existence. It reinforces the fact that no guessing is involved in conducting audit on that particular database. To find detail about identified vulnerabilities, click on it. Secure Auditor will tell you the vulnerability name, its associated risk level, overview, description, and reference along with their solution for mitigation. Now let's go to the reports. For audit reports, click on audit report icon present on the icon bar. For audit reports, you also need to select an application first. There are eight different reports to choose from. These reports ranging from executive summary, top 20 vulnerabilities in an audit, periodic comparison of the audit, and the vulnerability details with their solutions. Select your desired report, audit ID, or date, and click on View Report, and the View Report will pop up. Here I will select Vulnerability Details and their solutions. On the first page, there will be a graphic view of the vulnerabilities identified in that audit, along with their associated risk level as high, medium, or low. Let's go to the second page. It will give you the vulnerability stats for the amount on the percentage scale. From next page onwards, you can see identified vulnerabilities, the risk level, category name, overview, reference, instance and specification, description, and then the solution. You can export reports into multiple formats as well. You can also see network discovery and asset identification reports when you click on its icon. Select Discovery Session and its report will be displayed on your screen. This was a brief overview of conducting audit with Secure Auditor. It does not include detailed explanation about embedded utilities. If you are interested in complete demonstration of Secure Auditor along with its embedded utilities, send us an email on sales at the rate of secure-bytes.com. S A L E S at the rate of S E C U R E dash B Y T E S dot com. We really appreciate your interest in Secure Auditor and its modules. Thanks a lot for listening to us.